the Inu rig. Who has heard of this yet? I'm gonna show you really quickly what this is, and this thing is absolutely insane. Look at this hook. Now, apparently this has originated in Japan, and people are going absolutely insane. I watched a video last night, and I, I couldn't get off the video, so I watched probably, I don't know how many hours on this hook. And apparently, Inu means dog. So it's a dog hook is what the Japanese are calling it. It's so lifelike. It blew my mind. As soon as I seen this, this hook is gonna take right over the internet within a month. So from all the methods last night that I watched, there's so many different ways people are doing it. There's a few details a lot of people are missing out on how they thread this. Now in a nutshell, what people are doing, they're getting the smallest tubes they can find. I just went and got a straw. And another thing is a WD-40 straw. It's so tiny and strong. The best bet if you can get some of these or straws too. Lots of people are using the coffee stir sticks. They're a little smaller than these, but they still work. Now essentially what people are doing is you run the straw through on about a 30 to 40 degree angle and then you bend it, you go back this way and then on the bottom. This hook is so lifelike. That's why I wanted to do this. I wanted to make my own as quick as I can. Now I probably made about three or four of these off camera already and they're, they're not hard at all. There's just a few features everybody should know. The thicker your plastic jig is, the better. Depending on how thin or thick your guys' straw is. But the thicker the worm is, the better it's gonna be because it's gonna spread it out just a little bit and tear it. Now, as far as supplies, it's it's so cheap. You really don't need much. So it's the straw we went over, then just your J-hooks with the eyes. And I'll show you later why we're gonna need the eye hole in the top on this. So you need your J-hooks, your worms, and then you guys probably know. And then you're gonna need some split rings too. And just some line to run through it. I'm just using six pound. And to finish it off, we're just gonna use some super glue. So, like I was saying, the thicker the better for these guys. But this time, we're gonna use the WD-40 straw because it's super strong and tiny, and the inside's really nice and smooth, so the line's not gonna hang up on anything. Now, the most important part is when you start, and when we get it all done and together, you'll realize why. We have to make the angle going in on about a 30 degree going down so the line doesn't hang up on anything. And about an inch down from the top is what we're gonna try and do. You're kinda doing a shish kebab give or take. And now for the next one too, you're gonna wanna kinda angle it as well. You do not wanna go straight through it. That's gonna screw up the, when you pull the line, it's gonna hang up and it won't, the action won't be nearly as realistic. That's the whole point of this, it looks so real. So that's why I was so pumped to do this. We're gonna do about another 30 or so. Push it down, just like that. Now for the last piece, we're gonna do the exact same thing and go through it. Now essentially, like I was saying, it's pretty much a, sh a shish kebab right here. So for the next part, we're just gonna put some super glue just above each section, and then we're gonna slide it up. Not the best idea with skin. <laughs> we'll be careful though. Just a li All you need is just a little bit. Just gonna slide it up, leave it there. Slide this up, leave it there. Slide this one up as well, perfect. Now I'm just gonna get some cutters, or actually I have cutters right here. So I'm just gonna cut them off. That is the start. It's so fantastic, These uh, the ends for the WD-40 cans or any kind of brake clean, it's so tiny, it doesn't bulge the sides out. So this is the best bet, unless you can find something really small for a tube. That's about the best thing I could find other than the straws. And keeping it in line on the same side is very important too, just for the action in the end. So now, I already pre-cut my piece of line here. It's so easy. And I'm thinking these are probably gonna be a lot of one-time uses because you know, the fish might grab it and snap it and bend it or rip out your little end. So having a few of these on hand, I think it's probably gonna be a good idea. But I think they're gonna, these things are gonna slay freaking trout. I can't wait to try them. We're gonna put the line through the eye hook going this way, straight through it. Okay, so we put the line through it, going towards out the back, angle going down. Same situation now. We're gonna put it going back through the other way, going down, make sure the angle's correct. And this is why the angles are so important too, or you will not get that action. Because the first one I made, I didn't do it quite on the right angle. Now for the last part, you go back through, just like that. Okay, now for the stop, or the whole point of the split ring here, is just to stop this from pulling the, from the line from being pulled out. That's all that is. So we're gonna tie this together now. 
Good old fisherman knot. Cinch it up. Cut the extra off. We're almost done. Okay, very importantly, do not tie anything to your hook right here. You're gonna see why. We're almost in business here. Like this does not take long. Now we're just gonna cinch it up. You can see what we have going here now. The split ring's there. It's gonna hold the back up. It's gonna pull it up. Now this is why your angle has to be perfect. Cause the first time it, it wouldn't drop back down, but now it can. So now we're gonna take the J hook right here. And we're just gonna skin tag it right in here, skin hook it. And you gotta try and line up the I with the J hook with the top of your hole. Cause that's where the motion's going through. So you don't wanna get anything caught up. And everything still has to line up with the holes accordingly to make this work better for the action. So look at this thing. Trout, I'm gonna hit the trout ponds as soon as the ice hits with this thing and jig this all day. It's so lifelike, the presentation just blows my freaking mind. <laughs> That's it. So I'll just show it to you guys again. And this is why the angle is so important. Cause if it's not, it's just gonna hang up up here and it won't go back down like that. So then it just rotates perfectly up and down. And then the other one I already made too. You guys seen this one at the start? Same thing with this one, but this one, if you guys look, I use the straws and this is what I'm saying. The bigger, the worse it is because it splits it out. It still works, but it's like, a, I think this is almost a one time hit with these before they actually break. But I mean, you really can't help, you can't help that. Rig another one up and you can do these on any plastic baits, any big long ones, it'll work great. It's not, and they're not difficult. It doesn't cost very much. I'm excited. I'm so excited to try this. All right, that's the Inu rig blows my freaking mind and I'm sure it does to everybody else. All right, so thank you Fish Smack. You're the first guy I've seen with these hooks and that's why I watched like four hours of these videos last night. They're gonna crush the fish, so can't wait to try them. See ya.